Hello Gemini, welcome to your psychic love messages for July 2021. Let's get started. So as you can see, the cards have already come up for you so we can get straight into the reading. I'm going to look at the first card from the Animal Angel deck to gauge the overall energy of the reading. And then we will look at the Rider Waite deck to look at more of the details of what's going on with you this month, okay? So the first card we've got is the Grey Squirrel. As I'm looking at this card, and I'm, I'm being drawn to all of the green, and the Spirit is talking about focusing on yourself, finding love within yourself. Okay, they're, they're telling me that some of you here are in a relationship. Some of you may even be married. But they're saying that this is a month to focus on the relationship between you and you, about loving yourself and not not thinking that because you may have a relationship externally with another with someone else it means that there is love in your heart that sounds kind of odd but of course there's love in your heart if you love someone else but they're talking about uh loving your heart with regards to loving yourself okay so i feel that this is a month where you are being guided to go more within uh they're showing me the hermit card that they're, they're uh it's about uh, they're saying learning learning about yourself because they're saying that that you've changed something about you has changed or you've been going through a lot of internal emotional shifts lately maybe you've been working on yourself emotionally speaking or healing or something like that and spirit is indicating that this is a good time for you to spend time focusing and getting to know yourself again in a new way the card itself says Find new ways of solving problems. Okay, so what's also coming through is about uh, becoming more self-reliant. Uh, they're also saying that some of you who are single may experience frustration about the fact that you are not in a relationship. Of course, not all of you. I'm just tapping into some of you here. And they're saying that for those of you who feel that way, it's to to flip flip the coin okay to flip the coin to look at all of the benefits and all of the good things about being by yourself because it's not going to be forever they they're saying <laughs> they're actually saying that that people tend to when they are single they tend to want want a relationship and when people are in a relationship they tend to want a bit more freedom but so they're saying that uh people always want what's on the other side but they're really encouraging you to to turn it around, to look back and look at yourself and where you are and appreciate that. Okay, let's look at the other cards and see what's coming through. Okay, Foc yeah, focusing on yourself is what's coming through, all right? Some of you may be making a decision to be single. Some of you may be breaking up with somebody or going through a breakup. They're also saying that it's not just that uh, a breakup, but they're just saying that for those of you who are happily in a relationship, it's just about focusing more on yourself, okay? So the first card we've got is the Nine of Pentacles. This is a single energy card. Again, standing up on your own two feet. Uh, they're also, again, uh, because the squirrel said about uh, new ways of solving problems, and this message is also coming through with the Nine of Pentacles, because I'm hearing uh, Spirit talk about uh, finding new ways to manage what you have, uh, not, not relying on certain people for certain things, but to get resourceful, to explore other options, to show yourself that you can do more than you realize, to challenge yourself to go out of your comfort zone this month. Um, they're also saying that some of you who are in a relationship may be in a situation where your partner is away for a while. Maybe they are traveling for work, maybe they are occupied in some way, shape or form, but nevertheless, there is a feeling of you sort of having to do things on your own this month, but it's not a bad thing. That's Spirit is saying it's not a bad thing. They're also saying you may be taking the financial responsibilities this month as well, okay? The next card we've got is the Four of Swords in reverse. So this is an action card in, in a reverse position. I would consider this an action card. I'm feeling the sense of uh, up an atom, up an atom is what they're saying. They're just showing me somebody who's waking up early, 
they're just showing me somebody who's changing the bed sheets, making the bed and, you know, lifting the covers up and then watching the, the quilt come down. Just this idea of being on your own and enjoying the space. So I really feel that for those of you in a relationship, your partner may be going away for a while. But uh, sprucing up your home is also what's coming through. Uh, they're also saying to socialize, okay? If you are not in a relationship where your partner is away, to see if it's possible to get company from other people, uh, friends, uh, friends of friends, acquaintances, because Spirit is talking about expanding your horizons. Uh, they're, they're wanting you to uh, consider this idea that love comes in all forms to... Uh, experience love with regards to your friends, to experience love with regards to your relationship with nature. Everything is a, re is a relationship, they're saying, and um, I want, I'm just curious as to why they are, what, what's the reason for this, but maybe, maybe it will come through as we continue with the reading. The next card we've got is the strength card. So this is about, ah, okay. This is about believing in yourself. Thank you. So Spirit is saying that the reason why there is a focus this month on looking within yourself, learning to love yourself a little bit more, is because there's something that's coming up in the future. So uh, I'm hearing the word marathon. I'm, I'm getting this feeling that there's some kind of event or there's something that's going to happen or something that you will be doing that you'll have to do it alone in, in some way that you can't bring your partner with you or um, if you if you have one and if you don't have one it doesn't matter because you can't bring anyone with you uh, they're saying some of you may be going somewhere for research uh, maybe going abroad somewhere to do some yeah some kind of research um, okay interesting but there is there is some project that you are undertaking that um, you're going to need all of your own strength and all of your own resources you're going to need to access your own inner resources in order to be able to do this the next card we've got is the nine of wands in reverse interesting okay let me tune into this energy and see what the message is hmm all right, I'm getting a feeling that I just heard spirit say, letting go, letting go of expectations, letting go of expectations, letting go. Okay, they're saying uh, letting go of the idea of what you think relationships need to be. They're also saying this may not be you, this may be the other person, um, if you don't resonate with that. But somebody needs to let go of a fixed idea that they have had about about being in a relationship or if you're in a relationship how it should be to just release all of that and start again to they're saying to uh, wipe the slate clean um, look at bottom of the deck I just saw this look we've got the hermit card so this month there I don't see necessarily breakups or anything like that but spirit is indicating that even if you are in a relationship to Spend a bit more time with yourself because for whatever reason, things have changed for you internally. And if you spend time with yourself a bit more, you may start to become more consciously aware of those changes. And you also have something that's coming up in the near future that requires you to be able to stand on your own. Okay, Gemini, that's what I got. I hope it helps. Please like, share, comment and subscribe if you resonate with my work. And all additional information, including personal readings, will be down below in the description box. Thank you so much. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.